Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. What have we got here? In the last uh, big package of stuff from Wii slash Civivi slash Sencut, uh, I got one premium Wii knife. And uh, all I know is that it's the cybernetic. Now, you know, I, of course, remember seeing that on Instagram or seeing it somewhere, maybe on the Coming Soon page on Blade HQ. I don't know. Um, but I can't remember what it looks like. So I'm going to share this unboxing moment with you guys. To, uh, well, all of us. I'm going to share it with, with you all together with me. That was a sentence. Uh, I'm I'm good at sentences. That's a sentence that came out of my face. Thanks so much to we slash sendcut slash the baby for sending this. And thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Uh, if you the, the time of, that you're watching this video, if you're watching the day that it that I'm uploading it, it should be available. So I will link it right down in the description. So you guys can check it out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Okay, so this is a special edition. Um, this is number eight out of 205. Oh, wow. Well, how generous of you. We, that's very nice to give me number eight. Man, why couldn't you have given me number seven? <laughs> Listen to this guy. People are like, this guy complaining? This guy complaining about a free knife because he wants a 007 instead of 008? Uh, okay, Polish Speed Blasted Titanium 20 CV Blade, etc., etc. So this is a special edition. Let's see. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the special edition stuff is uh, is a hit. And sometimes it's a miss. So what, once again, this is the, the cybernetic. And I'll link it. I guess I already said that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks pretty cool so far. The machining on it is definitely impressive. Now, a lot of people are going to say, "Oh, it looks so, it looks plain Jane and minimalist." How can you say that? Um, no, I would not call this minimalist. I would call this um, intentionally following a uh, a certain design language. So, the milling here is intentionally supposed to look simple but it's not simple i mean this is absolutely complicated machining <laughs> look at the finish here um I, this is not what do they call this finish hold on maybe they're talking about the blade hold on i'm, I'm cleaning it off in one hand I'm giving you content in the other <laughs> god i'm not i don't even know what the innuendo is there but it sounds like there is one it says that the, the polished bead blasted 20 cv blade polished bead blasted titanium handle okay so this is they're calling this a bead blasted finish Boy, um, that's uh, that's about the nicest bead blasted finish I've ever seen. I would not call that matte. That's uh, that's pretty reflective. Look at that nice little pivot collar there. Very cool uh, milled clip just on one side. Ooh, that is one fancy lanyard. Uh, it's like a <laughs> docking bay. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at that backspacer too. Let's see the blade. Oh, okay. It's a top, is it? It's a front flipper. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, this is a yes from me. Um, I, I like this very much. Um, that is not what I was expecting to come out of the front of that. I was expecting something incredibly underwhelming to come out of this. I. Um, and this is, you know, it's good to be proven wrong. It's good to have low expectations and then to have to have a company slap you in the face. Because I uh, have been impressed by Wii in the past. You know, they're kind of what I expect from Wii over time has gone up and down. But what I uh, expect from Wii currently um, is for them to, while the knife is folded, if I am impressed by the handle, to be underwhelmed by the blade because that's happened so many times. And today we said, ah, uh -uh, no, sit still, tiny idiot. Oh God, are you kidding me? What is this? What did you guys make? This is completely different. But action, this doesn't feel like a Wii at all. <laughs> 
I uh, listen. Um, I'm trying to see if I can. It is a. It's a front flipper, but. Do this. That is a. Uh, oh my God. That is really cool. Um, okay. So we have. It says number eight there. Oh yeah. It's two pieces of titanium with a backspacer, a couple of backspacers, right? This does not feel like uh, a, a regular Wii knife. This uh, feels like something different. Wait, it's perfect. Laser perfect centering. This absolutely feels like something different. This doesn't even feel like Wii Knives manufactured it. I like Wii Knives, and I, they do premium manufacturing. I just think that they, you know, sometimes they're just, they're, they're uh, they're, they're swinging at uh, stuff they shouldn't be swinging at, right? Um, what's the expression? Is it batting above your pay grade or am I mixing two expressions together? I don't know. It's, this isn't, the channel's not called Expression Complex. Um, maybe it should be, but, um, no, this is, uh, this is not the same. This, this feels like something that was manufactured at a different factory, right? One that charges more money. Um, I'm certain that this will be an expensive knife, but I'm telling you, this is not the, look at the, I mean, you can see it. It, this, it's really nice. The detent is very crisp, too. Everything feels crisp. The polish, uh, the finish work feels different. The blade uh, has, I mean, <laughs> it's a tanto, but then we have a flat, and then it drops, it's stepped down, so they mill, okay, so they go a little wider, and they step it down, and there's a second flat. We got a compound flat is what we got here. We got a comp... <laughs> How does that even, I don't have a term for it. It's a different <laughs> mill this slot out wider. So we have a we got a deeper triangle here. And then we have a consistent wedge. Yeah. Oh boy, that is a really good looking knife. <laughs> oh man. This this is uh the type of I hate saying minimalist aesthetic. This is the type of minimalist aesthetic, for lack of something less pompous and boring to say, right? I was the type of enthusiast that enjoys a minimalist aesthetic. If you say that to me and you're not being ironic, you're not trying to be funny, I'm just like, I don't, I can't, I don't want to hear anything else come out of your broccoli hole, dude. Like, I just don't want to hear it. Um, but I guess, for lack of a better, you know, less pretentious thing to say, a less empty thing to say, um, this is the type of minimal aesthetic that I would prefer. Because there is complexity in this, and there's continuous, you know, <laughs> the design language, the transition from the blade to the scale uh, looks good, right? It's like, here's the blade, revealing the scales. You go, oh yeah, that makes sense, right? If it, just like me, looked at the handle scales and I thought, we's gonna drop the ball on this. Nope, they didn't. Uh, that's really nice. I mean, you can you can you can see the flow here, especially if I turn it this way, right? Oh man, that is cool. <laughs> oh man, that's I like it when we does a special edition and it actually looks and feels like a special edition. Man, that's just ah, that is satisfying. Yeah. I don't mean to spoil the review because I'm still going to spend some time with this and look it over. And I have to make sure there's nothing quirky about the disassembly. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's got two different... I mean, look at this. we got a couple of screws in back here. I'm not sure what's holding in this part of the backspacer. I'm going to guess it's just lipped in. But I'm probably going to keep this one. Probably going to keep it. Why am I turning it upside down? Man, that's cool. Okay. Um... 8.75 inches, 4 inch blade, 3.85 inch cutting edge. You know what I want to put it up against? Hold on. Hang on. Let's do something here. I think it'll make sense after a second. Let's put this guy up against some Shirogorovs. That one specifically. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, if you didn't know better, you'd think maybe it was a collaborate. That's that is a. Mm, ah, mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people are gonna like this. Um, even if you didn't, you know, I mean, if you're seeing it here first, great, you know, whatever. Wherever you saw it first, whoever's talking, there's gonna be a lot of people interested in this. Um, absolutely. That is. Uh, that's pretty spectacular. I think that's uh, some of the most impressive. And that's not to say that we has not done impressive machining in the past, but I I feel like we knives is kind of flexing here. It's like they're saying you don't think we can do this stuff. Oh, that is a good front flipper. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like this one. Um, I'll link it down in the description. Uh, the description. The description. I'll link it down in the description. I will link it down in the description for you guys to check it out if you want to. Um, but that's going to be pretty much it for today. Expect a full comprehensive review here in uh, a couple of weeks. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that middle complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.